we're going to model this site <coughs> for the fire station now we got a topo topographical map of the site for the site that shows contour elevations now we don't know the mean sea level but that doesn't matter in this case what we're going to do we're going to model this area here with the boundary lines shown here this is where the proposed fire station will be and what we're going to do is we're going to set the elevation now just some guesswork but the highest point inside of here is about 11 meters so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the elevation the sea level at probably 10 meters or 9 meters and then model the site around that all right so first we go to new we're going to open a template and it's going to be the us metric the ford metric open Okay. Okay, so we have opened the project. We go into the south elevation. And right now it shows here that level one is zero and level two is four thousand or four meters above level one. We go to manage. And we go to relocate project select level one and drag it up nine meters now it still says zero and four thousand but just to show you that something has changed select level one go to edit type and we're going to duplicate this level and call it with survey point and change this to survey point okay and you see it shows 9000 if you do the same thing for level 2 change it to 8 millimeter heavy survey point it shows 3000 um, 13 meters so now we go to the site plan and we're going to insert the image and I have my image um, in a specific folder so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to that location Now we're going to just press it here and <clears throat> I'm going to rescale this so the distance between this point and this point is 9 meters so I go to annotate detail line change the line style to um, lines zoom in so you could click uh, approximately click around then go back to the same endpoint and make sure that you are at zero degrees and type in 90 meters press escape a few times select the image select the scale click on the edge click on this edge and then click on this edge so now you have rescale Delete the detail lines. And what I want to do is I want to reposition the raster image somewhere in the center here. So, so that way, um, when I model the site, it will be proportionate to where my project point is. My origin is you can see here you have the elevations so 
Salat. <coughs> Let's start modeling in the side. First thing I want to do is select the raster image, pin it, and ensure that this icon is selected and it is, has an X next to it. That means when we, un so when we un um, select the image, we can't select it. Ensure also that your visual style is set to wireframe. Okay. Now, these are spot elevations. Now, I'm not going to focus on that. I will I'm going to focus on these contour lines, which is like 15, milli 15 meters here. Um, and this one is um, 10 meters. And then you have, so that's what we're going to start to um, place the points. Okay. All right. So. One of the things I want to do, these elevation points, so these points are in meters. Because remember, before I set up, I relocated my project um, nine meters up. So what I would do is go into manage um, units, project units, and just temporarily we will change this length to meters. Press OK. OK. Now, now we're going to masking and side topo surface place points and the first one we're going to deal with is the 15 which goes all around and comes back here so we change this to 15 now we could just type 15 because the unit is set to meters and <coughs> to start tracing the points. Now I'm going to pause the video and I will just do the 15 and I will show you the results. So this is the results for tracing the 15 meter elevation if I select the check mark here and I go to my 3D view by selecting the house icon change this to shading shade it and we use shift and the middle scroll to rotate this is 50 meters here alright X out of that now this line here is 10 so I'm going to I'm going to do that now you see here I've made an error this 50 meters was supposed to be traced around here so to edit that select the topo edit the surface actually it, it was done properly so this is just a line that they created but I want to start editing and the points and place in some 10 meter lines here so go to place point and change it to 10 we'll start from here as you can see it's, as it's graded down the more points you place is the more accurate or the more smooth your topo or your contour lines will appear so again I'm going to post this and come back with the results so this is the 10 the 10 meter elevation so you can see that is this is the 50 millimeter elevation it's graded onto 10 here we have a um, 20 meter elevation so Let's change this to 20. This is pretty simple here. Yeah. See, I'm following the line. Trying to stay as close as possible to get a more smooth contour shape. Okay. Um, and what other contours do we have? We have 
this 5 meter so I'm going to pause the video once again and I'm going to complete this and I'll be return ok so now this is the shape of the side may not be exact because they have this depressed area here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some spot elevations here to make this line disappear so we have 8.96 <coughs> this one here 8.45 this one here 7.38 7.95 eight point three seven seven twelve seven point six nine see you see how the contour start to shape out six point three one 6.98 7 7.04 6.18 I know it seems a little bit tedious but I just want to make sure that the site looks a little uniform 6.56 almost done um, I think that should be okay um, in this area here I want to um, for the streets I would like to place the elevations as well so I'm going to pause and put the for the streets that surrounding the building to get those spot elevations correct and I'll be I will return so I'm back and this is the final product I think I'm happy with my site. The other step now will be we will we'll look at this in elevation and see how it lines up with our elevation. And um, next thing will be to set the boundary, property boundary. Um, place the roads. And also place the, wet, the nearby buildings. So let's press the green check mark let's look at this in 3D <coughs> so this is the side just rotating looking at it I'm happy with my results so let's create a sub-region to place the roads inside of here sub-region um, let's see if we could draw this road starts from here so let's use the spline tool as best as possible try and get this straight curve right so again I'm going to pause the video and return with the final product because I mean I don't think you want to look at me trace out this but follow my lead and we will compare the results so I finished sketched out the road is not super accurate but it will do for now the last thing I would like to do is change the material so click on the button here right and the material browser comes up 
We're going to search for asphalt. And we will use asphalt pavement down in the autodesk materials. Click the up arrow. And we're going to use the render appearance when we put the 3D model in shading. And let's press OK. Press the green tick mark. Hopefully I have no errors. The four point is to make sure that you have an enclosed um, subregion. So it's taking its time going through. Right, so it has been a success. Let's look at this in 3D. So as you can see the road following the shape of the, the land. And that's it looks good All right the next step is to put in the boundary property so under property line under mass and site property line um let's save the project create by sketching you pick line let's trace this sort of accurate let's press the green tick mark 